In today's video, I wanna talk about whether or not shoes matter when it comes to long-term back pain relief. One of the number one things that I always talk about when it comes to getting long-term relief is exercise, movement. If you are not following a plan that you trust or that you're seeing results from, I wanna give you a free guide that you can take right now with you and take it to the gym and see instant relief because I'm gonna show you exactly how you should structure your workout so it does not cause more pain. You can go to fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash pain-free training for that specific guide. Now, do shoes actually matter when it comes to relief? I say yes. I'm a huge fan of just going outside without shoes, right? Being connected to the ground. There's a whole concept around grounding. You can look that up if you want. But it's also the actual function of the shoe. I'm not a huge fan of more squishy, more support, and kind of relying so much on the shoe to give you what your body needs. What I prefer is to find a shoe that gives you the most natural response to the ground, but also allows you to move your feet around and just know what's going on, like be connected with your body. There are shoes out there, like there's Brooks and Asics and New Balance, and all these people have some really expensive, cool shoes. But in my opinion, they're not meeting up to the standards that I have. Now, the standards that I have are a zero drop technology, which basically means that there's no heel. The heel that usually uh, comes with like running shoes or walking shoes, it kind of pitches you forward, right? So your heel is up. I like a zero drop type of shoe. Now, there's a brand called Ultra Running Shoes. Um, I know Viva Barefoot or, or Vibrams or Vibrams, whatever, however you say it. There's different types of brands out there. Lems is another one that offer these like really low profile shoes. That's the first rule that I have. Second rule is a wider, bigger toe box. So your feet are not being smashed into these shoes like Nikes, right? Or even like Vans. Vans are have a zero drop type of shoe or a sole to them but they, your toes are squished inside of the front of those shoes. The ultra running shoes that I have and other types of shoes that are in that same category have a wider toe box so I can spread my feet out and my feet can function, the toes can function in a more natural way. Why do we care about this? One of the biggest things is trying to connect yourself back to the way your body should operate, right? You should know what's going on in your feet. You should not rely on arch supports. You should not rely on things like braces or just super squishy, super pillowy shoes. Ultimately what you're doing is you're giving into your own natural ability to kind of see and engage with the ground and you're relying on those shoes to do everything for you. So that's not going to be a good long-term approach. Approach. Start slow because you can't go from a shoe like a big squishy Brooks shoe or New Balance or A6 or whatever you might wear and then go to a more of an aggressive minimal type of shoe. First, go barefoot around your house, go barefoot around your yard, start there. Second, buy a zero drop wide toed box. Ultra running shoe has a great cushiony walk that, that gives you all that stuff. Then if you're like, hey, I really like this minimal type of shoe, then you can start adding different types in more aggressive styles like New Balance Minimus shoes or Merrill has some stuff or Viva Barefoot. Then you can go aggressive. I'll never go back there. I used to have toe shoes back in the day when I was a trainer and I was on my feet all the time. I have flat feet and it was just brutal because I wasn't doing the right work. I wasn't putting the time in to learn how to use these shoes to benefit me. So be smart about what shoes you pick. Make sure you are choosing shoes that work for you, that you're ready for them. But at the end of the day, don't rely so much on your shoe to get you relief. Focus on finding a natural position that your shoe can give you and then work up from there. Just to show you that I actually do what I'm talking about is here are my ultra running shoes. Now these are beat. These are butter cookies. These, these are old, right? These are old, but you've got the wide toe box and you got the zero drop technology. They're good. Make sure you go grab that free guide, fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash pain free training. I'm going to show you how to use exercise in your brand new zero drop wide toe box shoe. That's not going to hurt your back. Fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash pain free training. See you in the next episode.